Hi guys, so let's now take a look at liquidity ratios, firstly starting with the current ratio. Now this current ratio is a uh, more basic test of liquidity. Liquidity simply referring to the ease with which businesses can actually repay their debts. Okay, so current ratio measures a business's ability to re repay their short-term debts. Uh, the current assets is considered with regard to the actual position of the current liabilities. But this is a less severe uh, test of liquidity than the asset test ratio. Okay, now a good benchmark to actually aim for when it comes to the current ratio is often around about the £1.50 to one. One pound mark, okay, so where you have one pound fifty of current assets and one pound's worth of current liabilities. That may range up to possibly two pounds, but not beyond there. Anything beyond there would really suggest that you've got too much in the way of uh, liquid assets in your business and you should be using that money more productively elsewhere. Okay, so therefore you do not want this ratio to be too high. Uh, so less than one pound to one pound means you will struggle to uh, repay those short-term debts and that may prompt a uh, liquidity crisis for the business or a cash flow crisis. Um, now, when it comes to the actual current ratio, the calculation, you can see it's just current assets divided by uh, the current liabilities, okay? So it's a nice straightforward uh, calculation to actually conduct. We can see we've got a nice straightforward example for us to consider here, where we've got 60,000 to uh, 40,000 of uh, current liabilities. So dividing one by the other, um, would enable us to actually obtain a ratio. That ratio, of course, in this instance, would be 1.5 to 1. So it would be expressed as follows, 1.5 to 1. Now, remember what we have here is every one pound of current liabilities. So for every current, uh, every one pound of current liabilities, we can see that this business would actually have uh, one pound 50 of current liability, uh, sorry, current assets for every pound of current liabilities. Okay, so uh, that's that's pretty healthy. You know, we're pretty happy with that. Uh, but what about in the exam? If you uh, consider two ratios, perhaps uh, they started in the base year as this 1.5 to 1, but then they actually uh, decreased, and perhaps you ended up with a ratio of 0.96 to 1. Uh, what would you be able to say about that? Well. Obviously, what you would be able to consider in relation to this is that now they only have 96p for every pound of current liabilities. So they've got 96p of current assets for every pound of current liabilities. That might be a, a source for concern and something that you'd certainly want to highlight. So then what you would need to do is be able to actually suggest ways that they could correct that situation and improve their current ratio. Now if we just come back to the actual formula that we've got here, we can actually see how you would want to go about improving this. Firstly, it could be about trying to boost your liquid uh, assets, that is your cash for instance, is a prime example there. So boosting your current assets so that you actually have more liquid cash available. Uh, meanwhile, you would want to try and decrease your current liabilities. So decrease the actual uh, borrowings that you, you have that may be in the form uh, of overdrafts for instance, okay, uh, that need to be repaid within a short period of time. So that's, in essence, what you would want to try and do. Uh, sometimes it's uh, easier said than done, of course, uh, but if the business does have a lot of fixed assets uh, or non-current assets like building, uh, like buildings, for instance, then they may actually choose to increase their non-current liabilities, okay, i.e. their long-term borrowing. By increasing their long-term borrowing, then they may be able to take some money out of the non-current assets that they have and actually use that as a form of cash. That may be one solution, but certainly they'd be looking to pay off any debts that they have uh, with trade, pay trade payables uh, as soon as they actually arise. Okay, so uh, that would help to uh, keep those liabilities down. And when it comes to your cash position, you'd want to have that in a high interest account so that that would uh, help to inflate the value of your current assets. Right, great stuff, guys. Thanks ever so much for joining me. See you next time.